Hey guys, welcome back to another video here, and in today's video, we'll be teaching you guys how to speedrun using MultiMC. Um, MultiMC is basically another Minecraft launcher, but it's like 10 times better than the original one. So I'll link the first thing in the description to bring you to this website here. And then once you're here, you can scroll down a bit until you see download and install. And then according to our operation system, you can choose which one. It's very self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to choose Windows. And I'm going to drag it out. Real quick, like that. Close this. I'm going to do this and then extract to this right here. Do this. Wait. Do this. Okay. Now I'm going to open up the file. I'm going to open MultiMC. And then you're going to choose scroll down a bit and then choose multimc.exe and i'm going to choose your language but i'm going to go with american language and you can allocate your ram here i'm going to do like minimum 500 megabytes and maximum two gigabytes and next and finish and after you see you reach this page you're going to go profile manage accounts and then add microsoft or mojang account this is really important um according to like which account you originally have you're going to choose like microsoft or mojang so i have a microsoft account so i'm going to add microsoft account and i'm going to press this just to note that like extra note this is not a free launcher you have to pay for it not pay but you have you need to have Minecraft itself in order to run this launcher. So it's not a crack launcher in any means. You're going to paste this code it gives you right here. And then go press next. And my password, everything. You're going to enter a password, all the stuff, blah, blah, blah. Press yes. Then you're going to close this window. And then you're going to let this load. It's going to load real quick. And it's going to like five seconds ten seconds right now you have this close this add instance and then you'll wait for the version you're going to choose 1.16.1 according to which version you are running so i'm going to press ok and from here edit instance from the left side you'll see install fabric yes this is why i say that this is so good someone join called okay let me leave the call first also you'll you'll think like i'm a dummy saying to a computer stuff okay so now you're gonna install fabric install okay now i can close this and then now you're gonna press edit instance again go to loader mods go right click and view folder from here you're gonna close the folder and close this as well and then second link in the description will be linking it to my discord server so from here you're gonna to go to announcements and then you can see this um, 1.16 mods for speedrunning you're gonna download this and then you can go like this and then you can Maximum suspend the folder that you just opened. Just open this here. And then right click and then extract here. Now I have the mods here. And copy these. Copy. And then go back. Paste right here. And delete these two. Like that. So I have these mods. Um don't need to worry about anything download stuff i already help you do it like that so i'm gonna close this and now you have your mods set up so now you're basically ready to speedrun yes it's really simple it's that great and that fast so yeah so like um the extra tip that I actually wanted to give is like how do I actually like 
go to my saves folder like my mods folder if you want to like download any practice maps so so it's actually really simple we're gonna close this and you're gonna go to the file go to multi mc and then from here you can see this file called instance and then you're gonna double click in and then from here you're gonna choose your instances and my it's 1.16 for me i'm gonna double click it and now i'm gonna go dot minecraft and from here you can get access to a saves folder which you can drag and drop your practice maps here your mods folder all here your resource packs all here and then your texture packs of course all here this is basically like everything the games runs in and you can just modify it here so once you actually launch this you are, you have an options.txt folder here you, which you can change like the gamma stuff but i'm not gonna do it i already have it like in another video like my past videos so i'm not gonna really do it again so i'll link it also down in, below in the description if you want to take a look at how to change gamma brightness of the game so you could actually see brighter in the case and stuff okay so that's basically it hope you guys enjoy so if you guys like the video make sure to like and sub really helps um, make my day all the stuff yeah peace out